Welcome back to another rendition of Pet Project, Vet Project, and it's fitting because today is National Pet Day. We're so excited to uh, celebrate with you here on the East Texas Now desk. Uh, so just so you guys know, to celebrate, we are wanting to see your furry friends at home. We just recently launched a new app that all of our pet and vet project conversations are on. Uh, it is called Pet Project. It's got tons of information for East Texas pet owners, including adoption services, there's pet friendly restaurants, there's even ways to train your pets on there with some video to help you walk through step by step. It's all available in the App Store or Google Play for uh, Android users. Now, um, if you want to send your own pictures, right, this is how you do it. Just scroll down on the main page of the Pet Project app, click the Your Pets tab on the bottom right, and then there's a link to submit pictures of your pets to us. We can't wait to see them. We might even show them on air today. In fact, I know that at least one pup made it in our midday newscast, but we still have uh, our 6 p.m. newscast and uh, 5 as well as 10. we got a whole lot of TV airtime for all of your pets, so make sure that you go get them in on your Pet Project app. In the meantime, let's talk about a few of our pets from from a uh, pet expert, I'd like to bring in uh, one of our favorite uh, vets here, Laura Cotham, the Animal Medical Center of Tyler founder. Laura, thanks so much for joining us of course, again. course, glad to be here. Awesome, so obviously we are celebrating National Pet Day, right? So we have a whole lot of pet uh, questions here for you. Okay. So we have something called uh, East Texas Weekend, right? And it brings all weekend long, Thursday through Sunday, best things to do between you and your family. There's all sorts of fun things that you can do. However, it's National Pet Day. So do you have any recommendations about ways that we can celebrate with our pets? Well, I mean, we've got some great weather going today, the sunshine. I say get outside, get outside oh, yeah. with your pet, enjoy it. We've got lots of good uh, walking trails, parks in that area. So enjoy some time. Um, I also saw some people uh, taking advantage of the uh, blue bonnets uh, right now, using the blue bonnets as a photo opportunity with their pets. So they're, they're definitely blooming and that would be fun. And then maybe stop by uh, uh, Andy's or uh, Small Cakes for a pup cup on the way home. There we go. Man, that sounds like a pet's dream day. Um, now it is, you know, spring and with spring comes rainfall and it has beautiful weather today, but there's still going to be some puddles and things of that nature. So around this season, what are some things that we should keep in the back of our minds when heading outdoors with our pets? Well, I mean, this is parasite season. So that's when the temperatures start coming up uh, and the rain, like I said, the, the fleas and ticks are going to be out in full force. And so, um, you know, got to make sure you're doing your monthly preventative for fleas, ticks, heartworms, intestinal parasites. This is the time of year you don't want to miss a dose. That makes total sense. Now, of course, we adore our pets, right? It is proven science that they help our mental health, that they calm us when we have anxiety, that obviously there are um, confidants sometimes and best friends keeping us company, but it uh, it's a mutual relationship, right? So what are some ways that we know we are also benefiting our pets when we're interacting? Well, I mean, I, I, I truly think the human-animal bond is a win-win situation. We get a lot lot of love they get a lot of love and if it's done right it's really the biggest one of the biggest blessings of our lives um, you know there's a reason that uh, dogs have been man's best friend for you know centuries uh, they, they bring a lot to us but we you know give them security we give them uh, shelter we we feed them and, and and we give them love and you know that's what all of, all of what we want Absolutely. I know um, my dog, Jessie, I think we've talked about her before. She's a long-haired German Shepherd, and man, she will tell you exactly when she needs some extra love. She'll just come up and she'll say, huh? And she'll put her little, like, princess paw on your arm like, uh, your hands aren't busy and they should be. Right. Pat me, you know, and they'll they'll definitely demand um, that love when they need you. a little extra. Sure. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. So I'm excited to get my dog out, right? Today I'm excited for us to go on our walk with my toddler. They both love to be outside in the parks in the same areas. Um, and I notice sometimes when Jessie maybe is a little nervous or maybe it's in a new place, she starts to eat some of the grass. Do you know what uh, that is? Is it upsetting them? Are they trying to settle their stomachs? What is that? I get this question a lot. And honestly, I think uh, the, the long story short is we don't really know why dogs eat grass. We just know they do. And it's a normal dog behavior. Uh, I think sometimes it could be from boredom. It could be just because uh, they like the taste of it um, or they're just exploring their environment. So, um, you know, it's rarely does it cause any problems. Occasionally a dog will eat so much that it makes them vomit and, and occasionally that can cause a problem. But most of the time they just eat a little grass. 
Okay, so not necessarily a cue, just them, you know, pretending to be a cow for the day, yeah. possibly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sounds fantastic. Well, we've been talking all day long about uh, sending in your uh, pets, right? Your furry friends. And I think you actually sent us one right here. So can you tell us a little bit about who this is right here? Oh, that's my love. <laughs> that's my love. That's Holly Noel. She was a Christmas puppy. Oh, my goodness. And uh, she is just the most darling dog. She brings the best light and energy to any room she shows up in. Oh my goodness, she is so sweet. All right, guys, if you want to see your pet on the big screen, uh, all you got to do is go and download that Pet Project app. One more time, it is on um, at the very bottom right-hand corner. Right there, you're going to see us click Your Pets. There's a link there that you can put all of your uh, photos in. And then you never know, it might be on the 4, the 5, the 6, or the 10 p.m. newscast celebrating National Pet Day. Once again, Dr. Laura, thank you so much for joining us here uh, on East Texas Now. And we'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Awesome. Now, if you want any of your other questions for next week, here's how you do it. You're going to email petproject at KLTV or KTRE.com. Email whatever questions you have, and one of your questions might show up in next week's segment, guys. Uh, that will do it here for our Vet Project Pet Project today. Happy National Pet Day. We'll take a short break and get right back to some news coverage.